So what is going on YouTube? This is your boy Flyland Guy, and I'm back with another video. Uh, we're doing an on-air run today. We're going to be doing some. We're going to be taking some artwork, sorry, from uh, right here in Reynosa, Mexico, over to uh, Vero Beach in Florida. So this is going to be a heck of a flight uh, scheduled to be or about three and a half hours um, in the air so we have uh, everything started and good to go um, and uh, yeah I already started the engine so let's head to the runway and let's get ready for takeoff All right. Uh, I'm just gonna start recording here real quick, um, just so that maybe I can get some cool shots on takeoff and or landing. And uh, I'm just gonna bring up the map for Renosa. All right. So if you remember when I flew here before, um, I was doing a VOR approach and that was just interesting to say the least. So today we're going to be flying out of here. Um, it is a good sized runway. but we are extremely heavy today. Um, basically because it is a four hour flight, well, three and a half hour flight, um, we're pretty much stocked to the gills of fuel. Although I find my fuel load is not really reflecting that. Not too sure why. Oh, I forgot to turn off my starters. I might generate this. So I'm just going to show you the route once we get in the air and we'll go from there. I'm hoping that everything is tracked properly as far as the fuel is concerned. Normally, normally the fuel and the uh, weight will be updated. Once um, you start tracking the, once you start tracking the flight, but I'm not seeing that right now in the actual aircraft, so I'm a little concerned about that. Just gonna abort the flight real quick. And mm. let's see. Just 
just double checking something here in on here. I just want to make sure everything is being tracked properly. There we go. You see the fuel just jump up just now? Yeah, that's what I want to make sure. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. Awesome. Okay, we're all good to go now. Um, All right. Aircraft keeps trying to kill me. Very good. And we're gonna go flight level change mode. So it does something weird where, I don't know, it's like it puts my, kind of puts my, my, my bank angle or climb angle, like angle of attack really high. I don't know what that is. But it, it's only been doing that recently, so I'm not too sure what's causing that. But, uh, no stall for me to tell you, folks. No stall for me today. Alright. So, what I'll do is I'll turn nav mode on. Which is probably going to have us do some ridiculous turn back to the airport. At least I hope not. Okay. No, this isn't too bad. Alright, so we're doing the... Uh, sorry. We are doing the uh, urban departure um, out of Reynosa today. Which 
just kind of exactly what, what we're about to do now. So we're dep we departed runway 33. Um, I didn't turn my net well, my nav was deselected, so I ended up out here somewhere. But we're basically going to come here and then make the left turn and then do the right turn towards uh, Urban, which is right there. Uh, in general, though, um, the let me get Navigraph back up. Our flight plan is basically going to take us uh, east across the Gulf of Mexico. And I mean, it's pretty much a straight shot all the way into uh, Vero Beach. And I think uh, the approach that we're going to be doing is going to probably take us a little further down. And then we'll kind of come back and make a right turn uh, towards the airport to land on runway 12. But overall, it's going to be just a long, boring flight. <laughs> it takes us across the, the Gulf Coast, pretty much. So, as I said, not really expecting too much at all. So I hope everybody is having a good week so far. Um, I am having a good week myself. Can't really complain at all. And um, there are some exciting videos uh, on my channel now. So make sure you go and check them out. Uh, I think at this point my BN, BN2 Islander video is out now. That's a new aircraft. Uh, well, probably by the time this video comes out, it's not going to be as new, but uh, at the time of recording this, uh, it's a fairly new aircraft. It's been, been out for about two weeks now. So I picked it up early and did a review on it. And um, you're going to be seeing a bunch more flights in that aircraft in the future. Overall though, I'd say uh, this flight will probably be the uh, second last one for me in the King Air. Uh, I, after this, my next flight will be um, a flight to Nassau, whether it's a part of On Air, if I can get um, an actual flight over to Nassau, then I will just do uh, just a ferry run back to Nassau, um, after which I'll switch out the King Air for something else. Um, I'm still deciding which, either I'd say the, the uh, Bandarante, or maybe I will just fly the, uh, the BN2, just to see what's good. But regardless, um, as, as I mentioned like multiple times before, I'm getting kind of uh, bored with the King Air now. And to be perfectly honest, it's probably the least exciting of the, the default turboprops to fly. Um, no, it hasn't gotten a lot of love from the mods and sorry, the modders and... and I'm, I'm, I've flown enough in it now. I've flown enough, so I just want to switch to something else. But uh, right now, we're just making our way up to 25,000 feet. That's our cruise altitude for today. And uh, when I come back to you all, I'll give you a quick update on where we are. Or we may possibly be uh, descending into uh, Vera Beach, Florida. So we'll see what's up. I have a long way to go. As I said, three and a half hour flight, so I'll talk to you guys when I get back, all right? This is boy Fly Island Guy. I'm out. And welcome back, everybody. We've started our descent into Vero Beach. Uh, currently, we're about to hit 
uh, 11,000 feet. 25 nautical miles outside of TRV, which is our uh, initial approach fix. And we'll be doing the Arnav approach uh, into... We're doing the Arnav approach into runway 12 right at Vera Beach Regional. So uh, let's just bring up this approach real quick. I believe I showed it before, but you can show it one more time. And actually, before I do that, I'm just going to turn the landing lights on. Okay, so Vera Beach 12 right on that approach. So right now we are heading for uh, TRV, which I'm not 100% sure where that is actually. So TRV is kind of somewhere around here. Um, I don't know exactly where it is, but somewhere near Muds. We're going to hit TRV, and then we're going to head back around to Bulldog, and then go to Hockey, back to Muds again, and then we'll go in for the landing. Now, this is a bit of a weird approach, but I've had some issues like... Um, adjusting the flight plan in the King Air. So like nowadays, I just, I just try not to, to do it if I don't have to. So we'll just go ahead and do our little uh, circular approach. Um, and we'll deal with that. All right. While we're descending, we'll just take a quick look at the weather in Vero Beach. Uh, we're looking at uh, winds out of 1005 knots. Uh, temperatures about 74 degrees Fahrenheit, 23.3 degrees Celsius. And there is absolutely no clouds under 12,000 feet. So the conditions are looking good. So, yeah, no issues there, so I'm excited about that, and pretty much it's the same forecast, like, moving forward, um, for the most part, so, that is awesome. Okay, so we are at 5,000 feet, or just above 5,000 feet, descending, we've already come through the clouds. look like looking like it's going to be a pretty good approach so right now the airport is kind of off to our one o'clock I don't know if you can see it to be honest but yeah. it is what it is As I mentioned before, this is going to be probably like the second last, second last flight in our North American tour. Uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to try and head to Nassau after this, just to get it over with. Um, I guess because I've done so much flights in between uh, the tour, it's kind of made this a lot more lengthier and less exciting than I thought it was going to be. And as well with On Air, once, pretty much once we complete uh, this leg, um, or this tour, we'll be moving to probably Europe or something to continue, continue our, our On Air flights. Alright, so we're pro approaching, sorry, 2,000 feet. As usual, you guys know how much I love Florida. Um, the scenery down here is 
is awesome. I don't know if like all the states is like this, but definitely um, I love how Florida looks. Essentially, we are going to fly towards it and then turn away from it. And in fact, the runway that we're probably landing on is this one right in front of us. So, actually, what I'm going to do is landing gear. Landing screw gear. this landing gear. approach. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Let's just go and shoot the shoot the landing. So. Turn the autopilot off. And we're gonna try and bleed off some airspeed. Landing gear. 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 All right, so we're going to turn on to final. Let's go gear down. Go full, full flaps for landing. We're pretty high right now, just fine. So I'm just going to trim up. Our frame rates are starting to suffer a bit. Sort of sucks. This is a great Wind approach. Zero and ten knots. All right, there we go. One white, one red. Let's try and just hold that. A smooth landing, <laughs> hopefully. Okay. Right on center, cut the throttles. Landing time log. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Vero Beach. Alright. So, let's go gear up. Landing lights are off. 
Taxi lights will come on. Totally forgot to turn my strobe lights on. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah. So overall, this was a very good, very good landing. Glad everything went smoothly, and I'm happy. Oh, I'm happy. This is, the, as mentioned, second last leg of the North American tour. Uh, we are going to be all done with it, and this is the end of a very long flight. Um, so I'm expecting to get a good amount of XP plus uh, about 115,000 credits before before expenses are removed so very very lucrative flight and this truck is trying to ram me oh for the love of god what are you doing Not actually 100% sure where to park. Well, let's do it somewhere over here. Before. I still haven't flown a TBM yet. I should probably give that a try, see what it's all about. People seem to really love it for whatever reason. So. Alright, I'm just gonna park over here. off time log flight is finished it has been monitored by on air cool so that was a beautiful landing here in Vera Beach um, just decided to cut out all the all the excess approach <laughs> and just fly it in and uh, all went well so that is it. Let's go ahead and take a look at on air and let's see how that went. Okay, so I lost two percent because the engine was on when tracking tracking started, which was some bull crap. Uh, mainly because it wasn't tracking the fuel and stuff properly that's why I did that but you know whatever it's just minus 0.02 percent but did get a reputation change of 0 0.60 percent which is actually pretty good um, the highest I've ever seen is 0 0.50 so um, I'm wondering if there's some kind of change where 
it's higher the longer you travel. This is actually one of the longer flight, well, probably the longest flight that I've done. Actually, no, I haven't. I think I've done over a thousand nautical miles, but uh, yeah, this one's 958, but I wasn't really carrying that much cargo, so um, yeah, it's cool. Yes, so we are all done. What I want to do though, um, I want to see where we are in relation to Nassau. So we're a little north. So I just want to see if there are any. Oh, no. Just trying to see if there's any jobs out of Aero Beach that would actually be heading to Nassau. Um, if not, then nah, we'll probably just just make the mission over. So let us see. Uh, these are all short haul flights. It's probably why we're not going to see anything. Uh, no, didn't want to do that. Uh, let's do medium trip. Query Logistics Center. Yeah, not seeing anything. Small trip, maybe. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything going to NASA. Yeah, it's not in there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to fly over to Nassau and um, just end my rental, and then when we next do an on-air video, we'll, we'll, we'll try and be in a different aircraft. Um, yeah, different aircraft starting from Nassau, and I'll probably do some some more uh routes in the in the vicinity um just throughout the caribbean until we hit uh level six we have a little ways to go before that happens so um i don't know what flight or what kind of aircraft i'm going to choose but uh i think that's what the plan is going to be so, in a sense, let's consider our, our North American tour over. Um, if you want to come over here. So, just to recap once again, where we went. Uh, we pretty much left Nassau. I think we stopped in... I don't even remember the different places that we stopped in. I think we went to Georgia and then probably um, North Carolina. Uh, then I think we went up to New York. Then we went over to St. John. Then we came back. Uh, we went to Quebec. And then we went to Ontario. Um, Ontario, we went to like North Dakota or something like that there. <laughs> and then we came back into, uh, uh, I think it was Edmonton, then Edmonton, we went to Vancouver. Then Vancouver, we went to like Idaho. Then from Idaho, we went to California. Um, California, we went to, Col to uh, Colorado. Um, and then from Colorado, we went to, I think, somewhere in Texas. Then we flew down to Mexico, and now we've come over to Florida. So, yeah, man, we pretty much went around the whole of the United States, which was awesome. So, as I said, our next thing that we'll be doing for a little while and on air is just kind of going around the Caribbean, and... Once uh, we are done with that, then I think our next mission is we're going to probably go up the 
east coast and try and make our way across to Europe, which should be pretty interesting. All right, so that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this flight. Um, this is your boy Fly Lin Guy. I will catch you on the next one. Stay, stay, stay safe, and most of all, stay fly. All right, peace.